This set of slides is about elasticity and in this presentation we are going to explain income elasticity and how it is calculated. An increase in income of consumers will usually lead to an increase in the quantity demanded of a product. So when the income of consumers increase, we can expect that the quantity demanded of a product will also increase. Income elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of the quantity demanded to changes in income. The formula that we use to determine income elasticity of demand is more or less the same as the one we use for the price elasticity of demand. But instead of calculating the percentage change in the price of the product, we will now determine the percentage change in consumer's income. So the formula is the percentage change in the quantity demanded of a product divided by the percentage change in the income of consumers. That will give you income elasticity of demand. So let's look at an example. If income of consumers increase by 10% and the quantity demanded of beef increases by 15%. We use the formula percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income. So 15% is the percentage change in quantity demanded. Percentage change in income is 10%. That gives us 15 divided by 10 gives us 1,5. This, this implies that beef is a normal good. When income increases, the quantity demanded of beef also increases. We can also say that beef is a luxury good. And that is because the percentage change and the quantity demanded is larger than the percentage change in income. So people buy more of a luxury good when their income increases. And they buy a larger percentage of that good than the percentage increase in income. So here we have the same percentage change in income. If we look at the quantity demanded of soap, the quantity demanded of soap now only increases by 6%. So if we calculate the income elasticity of demand, it is 6% divided by the 10% increase in income. That gives us 0, 0,6. So soap is also a normal good because when income increases, quantity demanded of soap also increases. But soap is also a necessity, not a luxury good, because the percentage change in the quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage change in income. Now we look at maize meal. So when the income of consumers increase by 10%, the quantity demanded of maize meal decreases by 7%. So if we now calculate the income elasticity of demand, it is going to be minus 7% because the quantity demanded decreased divided by 10%. So that gives us minus 0,7%. So this tells us that maize meal is an inferior good. When income increases, the quantity demanded of an inferior good decreases. So this means consumers bought this product because they could not afford to buy other products. Now that the income has increased, they can, com they can afford to buy more luxurious products. So if we now summarize income elasticity of the mod, the formula to calculate income elasticity of the mod is percentage change in the quantity demanded of a product divided by percentage change in consumer's income. 
A positive income elasticity of demand means that if a consumer's income increases, there will be an increase in demand for the product concerned. While negative income elasticity means that when there is an increase in consumer's income, it is going to be accompanied by a decrease in the quantity demanded of that product. We looked at maize meal as an example. So there are two types of normal goods. For those goods, income elasticity will be positive. For luxury goods, income elasticity will be larger than one because the percentage change in the quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in income. While for essential goods, the income elasticity will be larger than zero but smaller than one. That's because the change in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage change in income, but both are positive. The income elasticity of inferior goods will be negative. It will be smaller than one. That is because the quantity demanded decreased when income increased.